Well, Congressman Ken Buck did his best to question big tech CEOs last week in a hearing on the Hill, but now he has some strong words for Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey for not showing up. Here's One America's Jack Posobiec. We're very excited to welcome to One America News Congressman Ken Buck of Colorado. Congressman, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Now, you've been quite busy lately. One of the things that you put out recently is a call for Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey to testify in front of the House. Yes, I, I think it's absolutely essential. We've had four of the platform CEOs testify. I, I think Jack Dorsey, um, one, Twitter is clearly discriminating based on their uh, political bias, and I think we need to investigate that. I also think that, that Twitter is dominating just like the other platforms are, and we should see whether uh, there are laws that need to be enacted uh, that impact their uh, anti-competitive nature. So uh, I think just like the other four, uh, Jack Dorsey would provide very interesting information. All right. Not only that, we've also seen the rise of the president moving on actual executive orders banning some of the Chinese apps that have been coming in the big tech platform. Do you have any take on that? Yeah, I do. I actually authored a bill, uh, an amendment that was passed with the National Defense Authorization Act, and it banned um, uh, TikTok on government phones. That same uh, ban ha has passed the Senate. And, and I think it's really important that we look at our, our uh, overall population and see whether uh, the China is, and particularly the Chinese Communist Party, is conducting espionage operations through their, their apps. And that seems silly and it almost seems like a, some kind of conspiracy theory, but it's absolutely real. The Chinese Communist Party is doing everything they can to prepare for a conflict and, and, and a possible cyber attack on the United States. Oh, Congressman, I think the president agrees with you there. That's why he's signing his, his new orders going forward. Now, I also wanted to give you a chance to respond. There's been some, uh, in, the, in this new HBO documentary that's come out, and, and you're in it, some other congressmen are in it, and there's this new line that's come up talking about the NRA. Of course, we saw in New York, the attorney general there is suing the NRA. But there's this, been this new attack that says the only reason that Republicans would support the Second Amendment is because of NRA contributions. Is that true, Congressman? It's kind of ridiculous. First of all, the, the HBO series is based on my first book called Drain the Swamp. And it really talks about uh, corruption in Washington, D.C. But, but uh, you know, when, when I uh, look at the Constitution, I, that is my special interest. And I'm doing everything I can to promote the Constitution, all aspects of the Constitution, including the Second Amendment. So for the anybody to think that the NRA is buying my vote is, is just nonsense. I was pro-gun before I got to Congress, and I'll be pro-gun when I leave Congress. That's absolutely right. Now, you mentioned that this series was based on your first book, but you have a new book coming out. Isn't that right? I do. Uh, it's called Capital of Freedom. I give tours of the Capitol in the evening to constituents and other groups, and I've gone around with a lot of historians to learn as much as I can about the history, the, the statutes that are there, the architecture, the location, the uh, really just so many symbols of freedom. And I've written a book that talks about our constitutional principles and, and how they are symbolized in the Capitol, and then how the progressives are moving away from those symbols and, and really taking this country in a very dangerous direction. Well, that's really been the conversation that we've been having in this country just over the past several months now, uh, talking about taking down statues, removing statues, getting rid of history, education in certain classes, or changing the way American history is talked about. What do you think is driving that movement in some corners of the country? I think it's obvious to, to socialists that they cannot get a hold of American policy without changing our Constitution. And the first thing they need to do is deny and rewrite our history in order to be able to change our Constitution. They can't go through the amendment process because the American people are far too smart to, to do away with our freedoms, to, to adopt socialism. But if they can uh, try to rewrite history uh, generation by generation, they hope through ignorance they will be able to get their socialist system embedded in this country. Congressman, I want to thank you very much for coming on with us here at One American News. The book is Capital of Freedom. Thank you very much, sir, and appreciate what you do. Thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.